Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on for Virgo in the next 48 hours? This is a timeless reading, so whenever you see this reading is when you are meant to receive it. So take it how it resonates. Okay. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, Virgo. Okay, we have patience. Uh, I accept everything happens in divine order. Okay. And we have service. I feel good when I can help others. Hmm. One more card for Virgo. Okay, we have Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay, what kind of situation are you in, Virgo? You have to have patience. Maybe you're in some kind of service industry. But I feel like someone has their eyes on you. We also have guilt at the bottom. I release my beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So there's some kind of energy that you're moving past. There's some, some kind of energy that you're moving away from. You know, and I feel like you, you're having patience doing so, but maybe spirits letting you know that, you know, just have a little bit more patience. It's coming. But with this service card, I'm really feeling like a six of cups kind of energy to where no six of pentacles energy to where you are kind of very generously helping someone else who you feel is in need. Hmm. Give me more messages, Spirit. Tell me more of what Virgo needs to know the next 48 hours. What does Virgo need to know the next 48 hours, please? Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. Hmm. The Six of Wands. The Eight of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. At the bottom we have the King of Swords. Okay, Virgo. So I feel like, you know, in this situation, you're patiently waiting for something to, to transpire. You're with that King of Swords energy. I feel like you're trying to find the answers to a situation. You're trying to come, like, problem solve. Like you're trying to come up with the answer. Like something just ain't clear and you're like racking your brain how you can get through the situation. Uh, but with the Knight of Cups energy and the Six of Wands, I feel like someone's offering you some kind of generosity, some help in the situation. They may be offering you some kind of advice. Some kind of advice that's going to help you through the issue that you're dealing with. With Six of Wands, I feel like you, you're you happily accepting this advice, you know, and I feel like whatever this is, you're kind of making use of it, and you're, it's bringing you some sort of clarity to the way that it may be bringing you some sort of success or recognition. I feel like someone's viewing you. Someone's seeing you in a different light, you know? With this Eight of Cups energy and the Knight of Swords, I feel like, you know, whatever this person's telling you, this may be someone in your ear, Virgo. But I feel like whatever they're saying, you're taking the information that you can use and you're letting the, the rest go. You're like, 
uh, eating the fish and spitting out the bones. You know, hear what I'm saying? You, you, you're taking what information will be useful for you that you feel like will be successful, and you're like discarding. You're walking away from the other information. So you're kind of sifting through to see which fits in your life, which information will work for you and which information won't. And I feel like whatever this is, whatever information this is, I feel like you're you're taking it and you're running with it. You're using it for your some kind of inspiration, some kind of truth, some kind of belief. But I feel like it's like sparking your mind to this huge idea that you just want to take and kind of run with it. That doesn't really, I mean, that, that it makes sense, but I'm not really clear why Spirit is telling me to say that you're taking it and running with it. Hmm. Let's get some more clarity. Spirit, give me a message for Virgo. Let's clarify these cards. What's going on for the next 48 hours? Next 48 hours, please. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups? The Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and I told you I felt like that service card was the, like giving me the energy of the Six of Pentacles. Like someone is being very generous in this situation and the Sun card. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so with this Knight of Cups, whatever this is, we have something that made you very disappointed. Something that you thought really couldn't work out. You're feeling like there may be a chance. There may be some sort of situation, some sort of generosity that is going to kind of equal it out. Look at this. We got the Ten of Swords on one side and the Sun on the other. And the Six of Pentacles is like the balance. It's like, you know, this is taking, this is giving. And the Six of Pentacles is telling you exactly that it this is taking and this is giving, you know? Um, but you feel like something is taking maybe a bit more of your energy than it should. So you're asking for some sort of advice to help you with the situation. And... I feel like Spirit is letting you know, you know, yeah, this is taking more than you can handle at the moment, but this advice, whatever this King of Cups is letting you know, this advice is going to balance things out. It's going to equal it out to, you know, where you feel discouraged, you're going to feel more happiness or success. Because in, in a way, if you look at it, you know, if this is an ending, this is a beginning. And the Six of Pentacles is someone giving you an opportunity for the new beginning, you know. But look at this. We have the, the Six of Wands, too. So this is definitely some sort of success, some sort of recognition, But I feel like, you know, you're being viewed. You're being viewed. Maybe it is that you have some kind of influencer situation to where you, you thought maybe one idea wasn't working. So you was going to try another idea and you're gaining more success with it. But you have victory. People are viewing you. They're recognizing you. You know, you're being noticed. Hmm. Tell me more about the Six of Wands, Spirit. Tell me more about the Six of Wands energy. What is this? 
Tell me more about the Six of Wands, please. The Two of Cups. This may be some kind of love situation. Did someone discourage you? Did someone, did you think that someone, something had ended? When it was really just a break? Hmm. Look at this, the Six of Wands again. Definitely, someone's watching. They're watching you. They're noticing the things that you do. We have, clarifying the Six of Wands, we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. We also have the Five of Wands. Okay. If this is a love situation, Virgo, this situation is progressing. Look, it's going from challenges, constant challenges and obstacles, to having victory. If this is love with this Two of Cups situation, then something is moving forward. Something is progressing from the five to the six. Someone, something is progressing. It's growing. It's evolving. But you're also, you know being rewarded with something after these challenges, after these obstacles. This is your reward after your struggle. Hmm. Tell me about this Eight of Cups energy. This Eight of Cups energy, we have the Empress, we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Knight of wands lots of wands in this energy it may be a fire sign that you're dealing with virgo it may be a uh, leo aries or sagittarius But there's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of passion. With the Eight of Cups, something that you may had to move away from, um, something that you were kind of releasing, uh, you have the Emperor and the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So I, I feel like whatever this is that you're releasing, you're feeling like, You can kind of handle yourself so much better. Like you're kind of free from the situation. You feel more at ease. Um, this, whatever this is that it had to be released, I feel like could be for your greater good. Because, you know, the, the, the Empress, she's all about building her abundance. You know, she's very beautiful, very wise, very fertile. She's... She can manifest. So I feel like whatever this is that you're releasing, it's giving you the ability to see things more clearly and maybe manifest exactly what you want. With this Nine of Wands energy, I feel like you're in a place where you feel kind of driven to move forward because you're not giving up the fight. Look at this. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very passionate. He's making inspired action. He's moving forward with confidence and, you know, that free spirit, that creative action. The Nine of Wands is not giving up the fight because there's a little bit more battle to do. You know, you haven't reached that final victory yet. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you're kind of pushing forward to kind of bring something to life that because the empress this is always also giving birth to new ideas giving birth to some sort of manifestation and i feel like whatever this is you are very strong and capable in doing this okay what is this knight of swords we have the devil in reverse. 
We have the Five of Cups in reverse. And we have the Strength in reverse. Wow. There's still some kind of blockage. But I feel like with this with this devil in reverse, I feel like you're you're letting go of whatever it is that's binding you. You're letting go of whatever this is that's holding you back. And we have the five of cups in reverse. So I feel like, you know, with this five of cups in reverse, there's there's some kind of need to not completely let go of a situation. If this is a love situation like what we saw, I feel like you have the need to kind of let go of certain things, to let go of some kind of negative energy, but you're not willing to really let go of the fight, you know, because we have the, the Five of Cups in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. So the Five of Cups is moving away from grief. Because he's, he's grieving over those spilled cups. He's not even noticing the two cups he has full behind him. And the strength card, of course, the strength card is having the ability to have strength in your situation. To have the ability to, you know, push through and endure. That self-respect, that courage. And and I feel like whatever this is, you're... you're like releasing this blockage that may be holding you but I, I feel like you're not fully ready to totally let this go very interesting we're definitely going to need some kind of double clarity here oh get some more cards for Virgo okay let's get another row what do we have for Virgo next 48 hours what do we have for Virgo next 48 hours please we have the moon we have the sun wow we have the devil in reverse again. Okay. And we have the ace of swords. Okay. So you're gaining some sort of clarity on the things that you know that you need to release. Look at this. We have the, the devil right underneath the eight of cups. So whatever this negative energy is, I feel like you're releasing it. You're letting it go. You're not letting it get the best of you you know as far as this knight of cups in the moon i feel like there's still some things that haven't been totally revealed to you there's still some information that you need to figure out before you can accept some kind of offer or some kind of gift you know whatever this knight of cups is offering to you i feel like there's there's more things that need to be explained or pursued before you know you fully take advantage of this knight of cups and information with the sun and the uh, six of wands this is truly success this is success and happiness something is being recognized maybe that's the reason why we have envy right here so within the next 48 hours there's something that's going to come through that's going to make you very happy it may uh, it may also make other people very envious of your success of your happiness of how you go about things um but i feel like <laughs> forget what they say you know go be you boo don't let them get you down just you know I, I feel like you're on the right track when you have this eight of cups and this devil in reverse because i feel like whatever this negative energy is i feel like you are releasing it and i feel like you're releasing it with ease because here on the end we have the knight of swords 
and the Ace of Swords. So something is becoming very clear to you. A lot of answers are a lot of answers to your questions are being revealed. There's like a breakthrough happening in the next 48 hours. It may be small, it may be simple, but I feel like it's going to be something that's going to give you a lot of success, something that's going to make you feel noticed, recognized, um, lift you up, you know? So some kind of information that you're going to get within the next 48 hours is going to be very, hmm, very crucial to your week, I think. Okay, let's get a little bit more clarity. Tell me about this moon card. Tell me about this moon, please. The world. Yes, yeah, something becomes complete. There's a new journey unfolding. And some kind of... Some kind of new passion, new project you're going to be starting. So we have a completion here. We have a new beginning. And you have this new start that you're beginning some kind of new project new venture some kind of new inspired action that you're taking now the page is very immature thinking so I feel like whatever this is you're at the beginning stages it's something that may have just come to you that you want to try out but it's something that you're at the very beginning with. But you feel like you need to pursue it because you're taking that leap of faith to uh, take action on the situation. Not really knowing where it's going to lead you. Right? Okay, let's take a look at the sun. Tell me what the sun is. Okay, we have the seven of swords in reverse. Uh, the wheel of fortune in reverse. And the page of cups in reverse. How do we get the upright and the reverse all in? See, it's ridiculous. Okay. So with the sun card, I feel like whatever this seven of swords is, I feel like you're you're not letting this affect you. I feel like that's this envy. Someone is being a little sneaky and you're like, you feel like you have the upper hand. So you with this six of wands energy in the sun, you're not definitely not letting this ace um this seven of swords get you down. Because look at this. The seven of swords, there there's a rope right there. There it's a trap. It's a trap. You already see what they're doing. You see their envy ways. So and with this will of fortune in reverse i feel like they're they're trying to change some some sort of fate that you're destined to have and there's no way they they can do that they're trying to take away some sort of offer some sort of gift that you know is fully intended for you and i feel like what is meant for you is what is meant for you no one can take that from you you can either decide to pursue what it is that's meant for you or you can decide to bypass the opportunity but someone else can't take it from you because it's totally meant for you okay what is this devil in reverse spirit tell me more about this devil in reverse please okay we have the magician we have the strength card and we have the five of cups so with this devil in reverse, I feel like whatever this is that you're creating, you're like replacing this negative energy with creative action and courage and fearlessness. You know, I, I feel like you're not pondering on these things. You're like taking that bridge and going over to this kingdom over here. You know, you're not waiting for someone's okay to you know get through the situation you're going to make your own way you're not going to let someone else get in your way if that makes any sense okay what is this ace of swords energy spirits tell me about this ace of swords okay we have the knight of pentacles the nine of swords and the five of pentacles Okay, and at the bottom we have the Two of Swords. So I feel like there's definitely going to be some kind of choice that needs to be made. 
And I feel like with this Ace of Swords energy, I feel like you're coming up with the answers, but you may have a very hard choice that you may struggle to make within this next 48 hours. So during this time, you feel like you're in this stuck energy because you feel like this choice that you need to make may may not be the right choice. It may leave you in doubt. You may fear to make the next step or feel like you may be losing some sort of opportunity with this Five of Pentacles. But don't give up, Virgo. You're not losing an opportunity. You're gaining your, your clarity. Okay? And sometimes when we gain our clarity, sometimes we kind of doubt what the outcome will be. But don't doubt. Don't doubt. You've got this. So, you know, look how he's focusing on that pinnacle. Focus on what it is, what decision you need to make. Focus and remove these doubts. This feeling of being, you know, unaccepted or uh, unappreciated or underappreciated, you know. Um, and make this decision with wisdom and put value into this important decision that you need to make. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, let's get... Let's get some Moonology cards for Virgo. What does Moonology need to say to Virgo for the next 48 hours, please? What's the message for Virgo next 48 hours? Okay, the answers you need are coming. You're gaining the clarity. You're very close to achieving your goal. And a win-win outcome is in the forecast. Definitely. You're very close. And, you know, at the bottom, what you really don't realize, your commitment is being tested. So stand your ground. Have your strength. Be courageous. Be fearless. Okay, Virgo? Okay, that is the message that I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If you do need more clarity in your, in your situation, uh, take a look at your end of February reading for Virgo or your um, moon sign, rising sign. Um, that will give you more clarity. There are like a couple readings back, but you'll see that, that it's February. Okay, and until your next reading, Virgo, many blessings to you. Love and light.